What's up everyone, Dan here. Crypto, hold on a second. Crypto Capital Venture. That was kind of a desperate plug for my new t-shirt that just came in. You can buy one in the link below. I'm kidding, but real quick, before we start this video, I did the whole video and I completely forgot. I think we're like just about to cross over 4,000 subscribers. Thank you so much subscribers, you're awesome. You make this so much fun. And I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the conversation. I appreciate the comments, even the negative ones that make me think. I appreciate you as well. Um, in this video, in the comments below, please just leave, you know, leave your address. I'm going to be giving away 0.25 Litecoin. And um, I will, I guess tomorrow, tomorrow or Monday's video, I'll, I'll announce the winner. I'll give the Litecoin away on the video. And then we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Three. Two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, February 24th, 2018. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. I missed a video yesterday. I was sick and please forgive me. I told myself I'm definitely gonna hop on and do a video today. Wanted to cover a couple things. Um, and I also wanted to, you know, show you, just got one of these shirts in. Crypto Capital Venture, three, two, one, hold. You can get yours in the link in the description below on CryptoCapitalVenture.com. I think I'm also going to start giving shirts away. You know, I'm going to start kind of visiting the comments, have some fun with it, pick somebody maybe at the beginning of certain videos and just pick somebody to give a shirt away to. I think that'll be cool as I start developing these shirts because some are going to be hit or miss. So be patient with me, bear with me, but let's have some fun with it. Let's kind of jump into the video, a couple things to go over and then we'll, we'll look at the we'll look at the charts real quick. So, Charlie Lee, Coinbase and GDAX now support SegWit M addresses for Litecoin. For your information, Litecoin has switched to M addresses to prevent confusion with Bitcoin's three addresses used for multi-sig and seg SegWit. So, basically, you know, the, the normal Bitcoin addresses begin with a one, um, and SegWit and multi-sig begin with a three. What Litecoin initially did is they changed their one to an L to differentiate between Bitcoin and Litecoin. And then they went on and they changed the three to an M to differentiate on uh, SegWit. So they, they changed to an M format address. So Coinbase uh, and GDAX now support SegWit M. So that's awesome. Want to hop over to this article over here on bitcoinist.com just talk about it real quick what is segwit segwit short for segregated witness is an important soft fork upgrade to the bitcoin network which makes transactions significantly more secure and efficient when sending transactions with segwit the main part of the transaction is effectively segregated from the portion which authorizes it in turn this makes bitcoin transactions even more secure so uh, also makes transactions less expensive and I wanted to touch on that, but I also wanted to look down here. I like what they said at the end. Most exciting, however, is the exchange's commitment to implementing the Lightning Network, a second layer, second layer payment protocol allowing for instantaneous Bitcoin transactions. Once implemented, transacting Bitcoin will truly be better than ever. Are you excited about SegWit support on GDAX? So you can hop over to the Lightning Network, check out a um, really cool site to just look at, hop into, check out different payment channels set up set up on there. Um, really get a sense of, of where we're going with this, where the technology is going with it, it's the foundation. I really enjoy talking about these things and I, I know I kind of get distracted a little bit and I talk about charts a lot, which I like talking about charts a lot too, but some of this stuff going on is really cool. We need to keep an eye on it and we need to talk about it more. So with with that being said, I'm going to talk about lines and charts and price action. <laughs> so, you know, Litecoin kind of just hanging out. Obviously, um, I, I wanted to touch on a couple of things, I guess. You remember we broke through, we finally broke this um, this 170-ish area where we had like this this to top of resistance, we broke through it, and we've created a new channel. The, the channel is a little bit larger than I would like it to be, um, but I think we're gonna see, I think we're gonna see some, you know, nice price action one way or another soon. Um, I don't think we're gonna, you know, hop around 
in this channel like like it's done obviously we had a top of 250 and this bottom close to 180 that's a pretty you know i saw a comment someone said that's not that much but, but i mean you know this is the four hour chart that's that's a nice swing um when you're trying to look for consolidation so really i'm keeping an eye on two things and it's what i wanted to talk about which really are we have two areas and i'll talk about the downside first on the downside we you know i, re I really see the most support at 180. I know we're hanging out up here about above 200, which is cool. And I hope we find support at 200. It's definitely a nice round number and it's definitely a nice mental number. But 180, we really have, um, you know, more support as far as the order books go. And speaking of that, I wanted to touch on that. Somebody made a great comment, which is you can't really always go on GDAX order books because you know, they can be manipulated, there can be fake sell walls and buy walls. And I 100% agree. So don't take too much, you know, stock into what I'm saying when I'm talking about support over here, I guess. Um, but speaking of that 180 support, I also, you know, even without the order book, I see a lot of support at 170. So that 170 to 180 is like kind of a, a money zone for me. Um, just because of this, you know, this, this, two top resistant that we resistance we had and that we finally broke through. I see that resistance becoming more of a support area for Litecoin if if it goes down. So don't like don't yell at me in the comments below, you know, and tell me I'm spreading FUD. Um, I'm just letting you know that for me, if this happens, this is a nice area, um, you know, and I did a video up here, I think, you know, like last last when was this? This was the 20th, so this wasn't even that long ago. This was a few days ago um, about the possibilities of this happening. Um, just because it's good to be prepared for these things so that you can buy in this area, right? I mean, I think it's, it's so important to have a downside strategy, especially if you're, the, if you're one who, who is like me and like to buy dips. So um, I, sh I should change my screen name to buy the dip. But anyway, that's on the downside. I'm not saying we're going down there. Now on the upside, really what I'm looking at also is, and the other thing I want to mention is this area of, you know, right now, this is the four hour, here's the 26th, this line right here. And, um, you know, really see a nice little area again, uh, of confluence, um, on the, uh, support area and the buy zone for me, but also as well, on the upside because right here is the upper upper trend line of uh you know from this long channel we have from the top that we hit december i think it was december 12th so 26th uh upper upper line of this chat of this downtrend line and also a very key uh, resistance to break of 220. really the 220 to 250 is something we i'm hoping we retest again and I'm hoping we, we break through. Uh, right before this happened, I talked about breaking through 250 and creating a channel on top of 250. It has it didn't happen then. I'm hoping I'm hoping it can happen. I'm hoping we can break through uh, this time because we failed last time. We definitely fell back through. So hopefully we can break through 250 with nice nice volume and create a new channel above 250. It's kind of what I've been really wanting wanting and looking for, I'm sure everybody wants that, right? So nobody wants to create new channels down here. Nobody wants to go down here. Um, actually, some people do want to go down there. They want to buy more cheap Litecoin. So I know there's a lot of drawing on the screen. I just wanted to kind of illustrate the downside. Um, also my, my simple buy zone down here, why that's my buy zone, and also the uh, upside and possibility of breaking resistance. Right now, if you look at GDAX, you can see some, you know, some resistance 220, 250. Um, it's it's kind of a long way to go to get through through 250, but that can change like that. So keep it in mind. And um, yeah, 26 rolling around, light pay. Gonna be a lot of chatter going on. Gonna be a lot of talk. Gonna be a lot of articles probably on Litecoin and light pay. So just be ready for anything because anything can happen. And those are my thoughts. I'm sticking with them. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your thoughts on SegWit and the technology and GDAX and all these cool things going on? Uh, appreciate you watching. Have an awesome weekend. 
I will see you in the next video and God bless.